Hello, my name is Erin. I'm a patient counselor here at the Center for Cosmetic Surgery. This is Carrie. Hi, I'm Carrie White, and I'm also a patient counselor here at the Center for Cosmetic Surgery. So something that we deal with on a daily basis with patients and the surgeons is sizing with breast implants. So one of the biggest misconceptions about sizing with implants is profile. You might come into your consultation thinking, I want a high profile implant, that's what my friend got. You know, I want a very natural look so I can only have a low profile implant. So we're gonna explain the differences, what they mean, and what it means for each patient. Thanks, Erin. Yeah. So here we have three implants, and they're all actually the same CC volume of silicone. And CC is the measurement of silicone for all of the implants. So these are all roughly about 375 or 380 CC volumes. But on my left, I have a high profile 380 CC volume, I have a mid profile 380, and a low profile 375 volume. So just so you know, when you come in to size, we're going to really figure out what your taste preference is and what volume you really feel comfortable with. The doctor is going to use a caliper to measure your uh, inframammary fold. That's your base width. So Aaron's just showing you how we're going to measure your base width volume. And that really determines what profile we're gonna put you in. So for instance, if your base width measures at a 10 centimeter, then this high profile implant is gonna be really good for you. But if you're still at a, a 10 width and we move you up to a mid profile, this is gonna be way too wide for your base width. So you may like this volume, and you have to also like the volume and it also has to fit your base width. If we move over to low profile, this is gonna be way too wide for your base width. So if you can see, we're really trying to match your base width with your personal size preference. When we decide the profile of implant, just know that a lower profile is always gonna be the least projected implant. So it doesn't push out and it definitely tends to be the wider of the implant within the same size range. The mid profile is gonna be somewhere in between the high and the low, and the high profile is gonna be the most projected and the most narrow of the three. So that's how we kind of determine what implant profile you're gonna go with. It's a combination of your base width measurement and also your style and size preference. And I think one of the biggest myths with high profile implants are that patients think they're going to get the most cleavage and, you know, cleavage like this way in the breast volume. But sometimes using a lower profile implant will get you a little bit more volume there. So that's why it's something where, you know, trying them on with the counselor, trusting the profile um, is, is going to be the most important when choosing your implant size. So the, the thing we want you to take away from this is when you're sizing with your patient counselor and your surgeon at your consultation, just get an idea of the volume that you like and we will fit the profile that best fits you.